So giving them pot so they stay home uh, is not, I don't think, an ideal move. I also we need to legalize weed across this country. Dr. Mehmet Oz, who right now is in a very tight race with votes still being counted in Pennsylvania for the Republican primary for Senate, was on Newsmax, where he came out against cannabis legalization. Now, of course, he was already against it, but his arguments here are so ridiculous. And John Fetterman on the Democratic side won his primary, is very pro-legalization. I will show you his arguments as well and polling on this issue later. But first, check out what Dr. Oz here said on Newsmax. Fetterman has uh, won statewide in Pennsylvania. He's got that going for him. Um, he is a big... He doesn't dress like a normal politician. He's always wearing hoodies and he wears uh, shorts. Uh, he wants to legalize marijuana, I believe, which essentially, quite frankly, seems to be legal. What is your stance on that, by the way, uh, marijuana? You know, there are not enough Pennsylvanians to work in Pennsylvania. So giving them pot so they stay home uh, is not, I don't think, an ideal move. I also don't want to breed addiction to marijuana. It's not physical addiction, it's emotional addiction, but I don't want young people to think they have to smoke a joint to get out of their house in the morning. We need to get Pennsylvanians back at work. You gotta give them their mojo. And I don't want marijuana to be a hindrance to that. I also don't want people operating heavy machinery uh, and driving by me when they've been taking their fourth joint of the day. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry if I seem a little out of sorts right now. I just had my fourth joint of the day. I lost my mojo, but I will try to finish this video and inform you on how ridiculous Dr. Oz is. So I will get to polling on this issue. I'll get to John Fetterman's argument, uh, a video he posted online about this. So first up, this idea about jobs. Oh, we people are going to stay home. They're going to stay home. Actually, when you legalize cannabis, you generate jobs. More jobs are created. In fact, over the past year, an average of 280 jobs a day were created. So you're now looking at 428,000 jobs in America alone, just from the states that have legalized cannabis. So incredible job growth here since 2017. And of course, it's only going to increase as more states legalize it for recreational use. But the, like these people living in the past, it doesn't benefit anything. It doesn't benefit their arguments. If they pretend to be about freedom, which Republicans try to pretend to be about, how is it free to restrict this? I mean, you could, the arguments he made there, you can make about anything. Oh, I don't want, alcohol should not be legalized because I don't want some guy who's on his fourth drink of the day operating heavy machinery or staying home because he's a drunk. Like these are stupid arguments that mean nothing. But this is the garbage they are still putting out there. It's the, the same reefer madness crap we've been hearing for 100 years. So this is how pro-legalizing marijuana Fetterman is. He has a legalized weed shirt on his site, which is actually the top-selling shirt on his store. So they say here, it's high time we get our shit together and legalize weed in Pennsylvania and the USA. So uh, it says more justice, jobs, revenue, and freedom. So let's take a look first at John Fetterman's argument. And then I'll get to why I think this is the winning issue for this race come November. Five years ago, I stood in this exact same place and I called for the legalization of weed in this country. I was the only candidate at the time to do that. And now five years later, I renew that same call for any number of reasons, but most importantly, for the criminal justice aspect of it. Blacks and whites consume weed at equal levels, but there are three to four times more likely to receive criminal penalties for doing so. The war on drugs needs to stop and we need to legalize weed across this country. Then you add in the revenue, then you add in the jobs for our farmers, for our veterans, and just the freedom of it. This idea that we have allowed a plant to be illegal and criminalized in this country is absurd. John Fetterman, man, is such a good candidate. Now, as I've discussed in previous videos, he's not perfect on every issue. But this is what all politicians on the Democratic side should be fighting for. He has a video of all of his, you know, major policy positions. And it's a fantastic breakdown, a quick breakdown, like under a minute on each one on why he supports it. And this is part of you know, why he has been able to generate the kind of popularity that he has, because he's very specific. He is very open about why he supports things. And it's issues that are popular, like le legalizing cannabis. And I'll get some more polling on that or, or polling on that in a second. But um, first here, so from Politico, 
Fetterman is arguably the nation's most outspoken pro-weed politician. He supported legalization as mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania, and during his unsuccessful 2016 Senate campaign. In 2019, as the state's second in command, he held a statewide listening tour on recreational cannabis legalization. And now we get to why I think this is going to be potentially the winning issue for Fetterman come these midterms. So as they write here, cannabis on the ballot has increased voter turnout in past elections. Washington State, for example, saw turnout among voters ages 18 to 29 more than double in 2012 when recreational marijuana was on the ballot. The age group represented 22% of the electorate in 2012, compared to just 10% in 2008, according to a 2016 Brookings Institute analysis. It's going to bring out a lot of typical non-voters. Think about the people in your life that maybe are big <laughs> are big users of cannabis. Maybe they aren't all that engaged in politics. Now, of course, I'm very, I, I'm a user of cannabis. I'm very engaged in politics, but just generally, because this is a uh, an issue or a substance that is used widely by all kinds of people, all ages, all demographics, it brings out potentially a lot of people who are just not normally into politics, not normally are, are not normally following what is going on. And because it is so popular to legalize it, it has the potential here to bring out a lot of people on the Democratic side to support Fetterman just for this alone. So looking at polling on this, of course, also popular in Pennsylvania. So do you think marijuana should be legal for recreational purposes in Pennsylvania? So yes, is 48.5%, no, 35.9%, unsure or no opinion, 15.6%. And by the way, this polling is only of uh, typical voters. So again, I think a lot of polling on this issue, just be because of the way that polling is, is conducted normally, they look at people that normally vote. It, these these polls, I think, are slightly off because of that. I think you're going to see, I mean, there already is a plurality here for yes, but I think the numbers is much larger than we're actually seeing. But polling across the board, you know, it's, this issue is popular. So this is from uh, Gallup. You see here from, you know, about 1972 to uh, 2020, America's views on legalizing marijuana reached new highs. So it's now at 68%, according to uh, Gallup here. Again, has been steadily increasing over time. This from Pew Research, Americans overwhelmingly say marijuana should be legal for recreational or medical use. So they say here net 91% say it should be legal and 60% say um, for medical and recreational use and 31% say for medical use only. And an example of someone that is brought out because of this issue. So Casey Lofties, 25 from New York, Pennsylvania, is a Southeast Pennsylvanian who will be voting for Fetterman on Tuesday. So that already happened. She said in an interview on Saturday that Fetterman's support of marijuana was a major selling point for her. Quote, if candidates support marijuana, they're more about the people, Casey said, adding that Fetterman's refusal to live in the lieutenant governor's mansion also stood out to her. I feel like even though they're older, that they're still listening to the younger people who are eventually going to be making America, America. And I think this sentiment is felt across the board. If you have a candidate, a lawmaker who supports the legalization of marijuana, it means generally that that person is more attuned to society, to the people's needs. And so it's not even just an issue about the legalization of cannabis. It's also about a sort of a, a signifier that this candidate is someone who actually listens to people. And I think that's what legalizing cannabis does. And that's why I think this is going to be a major issue in Pennsylvania in the fall and will ultimately help bring Fetterman the Senate seat.